So welcome back to the build series. Today we're gonna to go over electronics. So here's the standard ramps board. I already have the stepper drivers installed with the heat sinks. You can see here on the board that they're labeled X, Y, Z, and E0, E is uh, extruder. And it's already stacked together on the Arduino. You'll need the electronics enclosure and your smart controller uh, enclosure. And so you'll need uh, also to mount this in, you'll need M3 by 20 uh, fasteners and those will go all the way down through the standoffs in the uh, enclosure all the way through and then there's some places for nuts on the bottom side. So we can go ahead and push those in, hopefully they'll stay. You can see how it's grabbed a hold of the nut on the back side. And so we'll go ahead and do that for the other three, the other two, three total. And then you can see that I've already got the Ethernet breakout board installed. You can see that there's plenty of clearance for the power connector, the USB, and the uh, leads to the heated bed control and the hot end. There's space here for the stepper uh, motor wires, and then you have space on the end for your Ethernet uh, cables and your smart controller ribbon cables. So this is the smart adapter, and this will just slide in towards the end of your ramp board. So your smart controller, you just need to place the four fasteners in the corner. There's capture nuts on the back. And then this lid just slides right over like this and kind of snaps into place. You're still uh, able to use the reset button and then your knob can just slide on over. So now we can work on installing the electronics on the X carriage. I'm gonna start with installing the thermistor. It helps if you have your heater block turned with the um, heater cartridge slot facing towards you. And you take the thermistor, make sure that the set screw underneath is loosened. You can slide it in. and then tighten up the set screw gently. It's very easy to damage. Now we can put in the heater cartridge. We can put on the cooling fan. You also need to trim this little ridge right here. I like to use flush cutters. That way it'll fit down smoothly inside the uh, recess. And then our proximity sensor. And your in-stop sensor wire. Now we're ready to install the rest of the electronics. Okay, so now we're gonna run our wires to our breakout board. I'm gonna start with the thermistor from the hot end. And there's already a connector on the end. And so what I'm gonna do is leave plenty of slack and we're gonna cut this, cut the connector off and reuse it uh, from the breakout board on the other end to the control board. So. This looks to be about the right, right length right here, and I, I'll just cut this. And then we'll save the rest of this cable for later. And then I can strip the ends. And we're gonna run these to number seven, and with a small flathead screwdriver, we're going to loosen up these terminals. I'm 
I'm gonna twist the ends like this and then I'm gonna run to ports seven and eight. That's our thermistor wire. We're gonna run the wires from the heater core, the heater cartridge, directly to the board. So that leaves us the, the part cooling fan. We can go ahead and do the same thing with the part cooling fan. So I've got my negative wire for my part cooling fan going into terminal one, the positive wire to terminal two. And then I have my optical end stop in three, four, five. I have my negative terminal for my hot end cooling fan. Uh, the negative is in seven, the positive is in eight. I have the inductive probe, black wire in one, blue wire in two, brown wire in three. Then I have the thermistor in 7 and 8. I'm going to run the hot end heater cartridge wires separately because it's higher amperage and I don't want to run it through the ethernet cables. Now I'm going to install the wires to the breakout board inside the electronics enclosure. These are the wires that are going to come from the proximity sensor. So you have the black, the blue, and the brown. Then we're going to do the thermistor. The thermistor does not have polarity, so you can just stick them in whichever way. Then we're going to wire in the fans. I did this incorrectly initially. I wired the part cooling fan and the hot end fan together. Uh, I should have wired the part cooling fan and the stepper driver cooler together and then left the hot end fan on constant 12 volt. So I fixed this later in the video. But at the same same operation, I used uh, wire ferrules on the end. Now I'm wiring in the end stop. Just look at your end stop and make sure that it's wired correctly. You want to match the wires up. So you can see here, I have fixed the the fans wired on new ferrules. Okay, so this is the wired up control board. We have on port, I think that's D9, we have the positive going to the fan and to the cooling fan for the controller right here. This fan's going to cool all the stepper drivers and the MOSFETs. The other fan goes to the uh, part cooling fan. Then we have a fan that goes, this is the always on fan, this is going to be the hot end cooling fan. Then we have the the Z probe and the Z probe the black is the signal blue is neutral and brown is positive and then we have our thermistor from the hot end and we have the optical end stop on the X axis so this one kind of gets twisted up and it's difficult to see but you'll have one wire with the red dashes that's your positive. Then you have one that's completely blank, that's your ground. And then you have one with long dashes, and that's your signal. The first thing I would do is install the smart controller as far as you can get it towards the bracket. Then you can install the electronics enclosure directly below the smart controller. LCD and your SD card and then you'll route these out of the top of the enclosure and then to the back of your LCD. So now we have the thermistor from the bed. I'm going to route it up through the opening in the enclosure. Maybe we'll come on the side. 
So now we're going to install the thermistor from the bed. It goes in slot T1. Now we have our Y axis in stop. We'll route it in from the top. So I'm looking at these cables and I've got two or three different cables and they're all different. Uh, the codes don't match from cable to cable. So just ignore the, the stripe codes on the cable and just go based off of what you see on the connector. So I'm looking at this one and the dash dot dash is connected to the far right and that's my G, that's ground. The one in the middle is my signal, that's dash 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 and then the blank one is my voltage. So that was completely different from my other cable. So the voltage is going to go on the far right from my perspective. Now we can install our stepper motor wires. So this is the Z axis from the far side. Now for the extruder, I'm going to extend the heater wires using one of these included connectors. And the other one, the other ends of the cables, are going to go down here into the drill block. Now I'm going to install the main wiring from the board to the power supply. So make sure you put all the negatives on the negative side, all the positives on the positive side and it should go uh, from left to right. It's positive, negative, positive, negative to the board. And then I'm installing the SSR control that comes from the, the board direct, directly to the SSR. Make sure you get positive and negative in the right places. And then I'm gonna install the cover to the electronics enclosure. And now I'm just uh, putting everything, uh, trying to organize all my wires, putting them in uh, cable cover and using zip ties and wire clips, trying to keep everything organized. This is not the best wiring job I've ever done, but did the best with what I had. Thanks for watching.